Well, hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Ladies Listen Up. And actually, we've been more in the overall the wellness of life series. You know, we have about we have ten playlists here on Oasis Wellness of Life. So we go back and forth. Sometimes we're talking about money. Sometimes we're talking about mental health issues because it's the overall wellness of life. So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Share this information with somebody else. Today's topic is a little bit heavy, and it's heavy on my heart, but, you know, we're all walking this walk together and, you know, learning, and as I learn different things, you know, I want to bring it out, especially when I hear a call for it, right? People are like, you know, what is this all about? And I heard it, and I didn't know a lot about it. Actually, my oldest daughter, she talked about what an empath is, and so just this week, before we get over, we're going to still do Grandma's Cookie Jar, but this has been heavy on my heart, so... Last week, when I did the episode on Judge Lynn Toller, right, when I did that episode, ever since then, I've been feeling really heavy, right? And and I didn't understand what it was about, and then it dawned on me. it was It's about being an empath, and if you stay to the end, I'm going to give you what an empath is, right? But let's go ahead and let's not stop our flow. Let's go on into Grandma's Cookie Jar secret today, right? Grandma's Cookie Jar is always packed with information and wisdom, right? And so this week already, I know I need a nugget for myself, right? I'll share it with you, but I need it for myself, right? So one of the things that we pulled out on a couple episodes ago, it said, own your power. Man, that's so in connection and in tune with own your power with today when we talk about an empath. And it says do your thing, right? But what I related that to was I went on over to Just Taller's uh Facebook page and you know, I pulled one of the one of the messages that she talked about, you know, right after she lost her husband on January no, I'm sorry, on December 31st, she posted a video. And I'm telling you, she showed so much grace, right? Just so much. I mean, wow. She said, love survives loss. And I wanted to understand what that meant. Can we get a little bit more about that, you know? And she said, love survives loss. Beats the crap out of you in the moment. But good, hashtag love, is worth great pain. Man, if we just sitting now for a minute. That's so rich, right? I wish you well. I hope you have a love that echoes forever in your heart and family. Through Though they tend to work your nerves, that surrounds and grounds you. Give them all the grace that you need from them. Give them the grace that we need as humans from them. I know when I am being raggedy, I need the bushels of forgiveness, and I am not afraid to apologize. Some suggest my name is really Lynn. Oops, my bad, Toller. The other day, son six of six said, you don't have to apologize. We get it. My response, I'm sorry. No irony intended, just a heavy habit. And we both hollered, right? I love her because she's so real. Love hard, anger slowly, be well. Oh, and tell. 2023 to act right. Y'all, it's just so much in that, in that, in that paragraph as she's going through her grieving process. And I said, man, you know what? When I talked to my daughter and she talked to me about what an empath is, have you all heard of empath or being empathetic? It's, 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 it's so, let me give you this. So I'm going to read a little bit today. Let me grab my glasses because, you know, just understanding it even further. I've heard it and I I didn't know, you know, what it really was, but let's read it here. Sexy specs first, right, y'all? Okay. And it said, Earth, I'm sorry, I was going to say Earth. It says, empathy is the capacity to understand or feel what another person is experiencing from within their frame of reference, right? Really getting into somebody else's shoes. That is the capacity to place oneself in another one's position, right? And and and, and I, I I feel that. So no doubt I've identified myself as being an empath. And I was going to, you know, kind of, I don't know, just kind of go around the subject a little bit. But I said, you know what? You talk about being, being 
a, a literal person and being a person of transparency. And I think transparency is what helps. But sometimes it's really challenging to bear yourself, right? To pull the covers off of yourself. It's easier to pull the covers off of somebody else. But pulling it off yourself is not always so easy. But just understanding who you are, right? And so you can be an empath physically, emotionally, and intuitively. An empath is a person highly attuned to their feelings and emotions of others around them. So the emotions of others around you. Empaths feel what another person is feeling at a deep emotional level. So if you're not an empathetic person or empath, you won't get it. You won't understand it, right? Because you're thinking, man, why don't you just get over that? Why, why are you feeling so heavy? But I, I feel it for other people. And, and so this week after I did the story, I just, it's just been on me. It's, and then, then it dawned on me, right? I do meditation and I'm in prayer and it just dawned on me what it was. And I said, wow, why not share it? We're the overall wellness of life channel. Why not share what you've learned about being an empath? Maybe it can help somebody else that was in the same place that I was in. Like, what is it that's making me so heavy? Okay. An empath, they have the ability to discern what others are feeling and it goes beyond empathy, which is defined simply as the ability to understand the feelings of others. That's what empathy is, but it goes beyond that, right? Instead, being an empath extends to actually taking on those feelings. It drains you, you know, it's, it's, it's a feeling unlike any other, right? Science is divided on whether or not true empaths, people who can tap into and take on the emotions of those around them actually exist, though plenty of people claim to have such ability. So, I now can dispel that myth for myself because I understand and identify wholeheartedly. And we're going to get a little bit further into the test that you're, you're in path. So make sure that, you know, you grab your journals. As always, I'm going to have the links below in the description box as to where you can grab your journal. So you can start journaling these things. It's a wonderful world to start, to start really understanding you know, who you are, how you operate, how you function, you know, like learning that I was literal or that I'm literal, learning that I'm an empath, learning that I'm cleric. So when you can identify these things about yourself, it helps you to continue to become. That's why I admire just Taller so much, because when I look at her, I look at a at a wise woman, right? I look at a woman that, you know, that, that has experience. I look at, you know, like her quotes are so you know, just so powerful. And to me, you know, some of us, you know, didn't get that, you know, that that those those stories passed down to us, the experiences passed down to us. You know, some of us got them, some of us got a few of them. But when you look at someone of her stature, of her of her, of her grace, of her character, you know, someone that is real and down to earth and don't mind telling you like it is when you look at her, it's like, man, I thought I had to do a part two because this connection is it is it, it, it you know, it's it's amazing to understand how, you know, not just feeling for that person, but actually feeling feeling the, you know, the emotional, the emotional drain for such a loss. Anyhow, I've learned a little bit more about empath, right? So it says this this was so fascinating to me when it says we know that researchers have discovered that there's a there's a it's called a mirror neuron that's in the brain which may help us mirror the emotions of those we come in contact with. And it appears some people may have more, right, more mirror neurons than others, suggesting that empaths may exist, right? And this information is coming from verywellminded.com. Here are some signs that you might be an empath. How can you tell if you might be an empath? Some of the common empathetic traits include empathy, right? Those, there's no doubt some people are more prone to empathy than others. We've all known someone in our lives who was just gifted at reading our feelings, just as well as, you know, just like um, some people are so disconnected from the feelings around them, right? Some people can't or don't, you know, read the feelings of other people, but with an empath, you actually feel, you take on the feelings of others. So you have a deeper and greater understanding. You know, I've been accused often of pulling the covers off of folks. And I didn't do it on purpose. It was just, you know, it was just what I saw. And again, I'm literal. So think about that. A literal, a literal person that's an empath that's also a cleric. Man, that's a lot to deal with, right? 
So we talk about intuition. Empaths also tend to have a great sense of intuition. They trust their instincts and often go with their gut when they're making decisions. So um, understanding, you know, what's going on and, and, and really having that, 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 that sixth sense or something, right? But it's, it's even deeper than that. It's, it's, it's tapped into your emotion because they are so attuned to how others are feeling. They may pick up on subtle informational clues that might help guide their decision making. Okay, And then a caring empath. People who describe themselves as empaths also tend to care greatly about others. They understand the needs, wishes, and fears that others face. So an empath may strive to make sure that other people have the things they need and to feel safe and to feel secure and to feel happy. Okay. And, you know, you would describe an empath as a, a warm, tender hearted person, right? And that can be challenging to an empath because sometimes you, 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 it's hard to set boundaries because you're always thinking about the other person, right? You're always thinking about and feeling what they're feeling. So you kind of put yourself on the back burner. Any of these things resonate, you can check off a box. You know, the box is about being an empath. Sensitivity. Empaths are not just sensitive to emotions, but they tend to, they tend to pick up other aspects of the environment. This means that they may be more aware of sight, sound, smells, or other physical sensations that other people may not even notice, right? As a result, an empath may be more bothered by certain scents, you know, more easily distracted by noises in their surroundings. So sometimes there's too much information or too many things going on around you, too much information to process at one time. It becomes overwhelming. Again, sign of being an empath. And so there's an empath test, right? And the test, if you answer these questions, yes to any of these questions, again, it bears further research that you may have tapped into a part of your person that you didn't even know, right? So one, do you find yourself taking on other stress. That's one. Have you been accused of being too sensitive in the past? Hmm. Ding, 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 right? Do you feel overwhelmed in crowded spaces? Ding, ding, ding. And would others describe you as empathetic? Uh, there we go. There was a couple. I know different experts that have different tests, so you may want to check into those different tests. You can find them on the internet. Or pull up something. You know, there's another one that another um, another question or sign that says, "Do you feel like you don't fit in?" Right? That's another thing. Right? All these things. I'm checking check boxes on each one of these things. Right? And then there's another one. If you feel, you know, overwhelmed by watching the news or finding or sad movies are overwhelming to you where, you know, other people that can watch it and it doesn't affect them at all, but you find yourself sitting there crying and you don't know why and you can't stop yourself from crying, but you're crying, right? It's because you took on the emotions of that character, right? You felt it, right? Um, benefits of being an empath. So there's a lot of benefits to being an empath because you're tapping into other people's feelings and emotions, then you're able to better better able to deal with them or better able to, to help them because you're you're going to be a helper if you are an empath. You're gonna you're gonna have that emotion for other people, even the people that don't have that same, you know, feeling or kindness or care or taking of you in your heart, it won't matter. You're still you'll still be concerned about them, right? You'll know when somebody is feeling down or lonely or somebody's feeling scared, you know, and even if they don't show it outwardly, they may show it, you may, you'll feel it. So it's not a something they might show or tell you, but you already know, right? You know, I remember called a situation where, you know, I kind of just went to the left about some things and, and I started talking, you know, just this is this, this is this, this is this. And the young person that I was talking with, he said, you know, how did you know that? You know, how did you know those things? And so just tapping into that and understanding it even more, it's a great gift, actually, right? So it's, again, how do we see things, right? So you can have even stronger relationships because you can relate better with people. So there's a couple other things that, that you talked about, how, you know, it could be a challenge. Because again, you know, uh, just some of the, some of the, 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 the boundaries that you'll have a difficult time at setting, right? And so finally, there are, you know, sometimes you'll make people feel uncomfortable because they're like, you know, what's going on with you? How did you know that? Or how did this happen or what have you? So there are some pros and cons. So let's go over the pros and cons, right? So some of the pros, 
You can provide emotional support for others. You know when someone is in need of help. You can tell if someone will be good for you. Okay, those are the pros, right? Oh my goodness, that is so funny because you look at some of the some of the things that you you know you overlook or it's on a red flag you didn't pay attention to, but the signs were right there. The cons: you may often feel emotionally drained. Yes, ding ding ding. You may you may find it hard to find time for yourself because you're always working on helping somebody else, or your ability to read others may feel invasive to some people, right? They feel that they may, you know, how did you know that? It might be a question that you get often. So I just wanted to come back and do a part two, because again, you know, sharing and going through, you know, the vlogging experience, this is something that, you know, I didn't understand. And as I got to, you know, really pay attention, I understood, wow, you're learning more about yourself. And so the o o Oasis Wellness of Life, our channel is all about that. It's about discovering, you know, how to live well, a well-balanced life in your mind, body, and spirit. So we hit that. We talk about some of the things that may be, you know, mental health. We talk about natural wellness when it comes to, you know, herbs. Sometimes you, there may be an herb that you may that you may want to to use to help you even to calm down your nerves or to, you know, to sleep. It's, you know, everything that we need is been is in herbs. Now we're not gonna get preachy about that, but you know, I love naturopathic medicine, right? So again, I wanted to do a part two because I took on the feelings and emotions and I wanted to explore and understand why was I feeling so heavy, you know. Um, you know, we offer our condolences and respect, but it went even deeper. I felt it. So I hope you got something out of this. And again, love survives loss. So that helps us to kind of do a, a paradigm shift for anybody that is giving up on love. You know, if you've given up on love, you know, according to what Judge Taller stated and her what she she's lived is that she said that but good love is worth great pain. All right, on that note, I'm going to say, don't forget to listen, learn, leverage the information, and share this with somebody else. You never know who's, who's, who's tussling with, man, am I an empath? I didn't even know that was a such thing. Okay, now that I know that I am, how do I help myself to be in a healthy, healthier place as I continue to go forward? Like, share, and subscribe, y'all. Bye for now, and I'll see you next time. And stay fearless.